hello hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is zakaria the ghost yes i know sometimes i share pictures without telling you which river is that and where is that place by the way this is pinding this river is called pinding is next to olifant's fountain you know i kept on seeing dreams when i was young when i was still staying in tembisa so i asked people which is the nearest river that i can go to because i always wanted to go to the river and i was told that there is a river called pinding it's next to olifant's fountain don't worry Tabo, you can even go with a train so i went there and i think this might be the first picture that i took because this is the first river that i went to around tembisa when i was young beautiful river not that dangerous and i went there i prayed and now i will share also the pictures of the mountain called pinding you know a lot of people they just go to that mountain and they just go there and pray and surprisingly there was just you know also a road that people created by always going to that mountain driving cars you will be surprised what people are doing and when you climb the mountain or when you go to the river you'll be shocked by the things that you are going to see you know and it is what it is and i started here everybody you know before i can even start going to these other big mountains whereby i'm sharing stories i started with this river it's called pinding and i started you know by climbing the mountain there at pinding and you know I just loved it because it was not that big, that mountain. It wasn't that dangerous. There is no cave, by the way, if you think about, you know, finding a cave. But one thing I can tell you is that there is a whale next to this river. I think there is two or three. And also, you need to be careful because most of the time I was always going there during the day because I hate to go to the mountain that I don't know. Mostly at night, I always make sure that I go during the day so that I can be safe, I can prepare myself and find a spot that I can sit on and know that even if, you know, there will be a rain or whatever happens there, I will be safe. That's one thing that I can tell everybody who's going to take trips to go to the rivers, mountains and caves. It is not easy. It is not safe because some of the people, they will tell you, you know, or show you the video about their trip, but they are not telling you that there is preparation that goes on before way before you can even go to the mountain sometimes we take 21 days sometimes we take a whole month you know there is certain food that you shouldn't eat let me just say that you don't just eat everything you don't just drink everything there are certain food that you must avoid there are certain things that you are, must avoid doing and you know because every you must stay away from a lot of stuff make sure that you know you become pure you need to go you know and service your body make sure that you are clean you know you have to go and pray with a clear mind i know people just tell you that oh man i've been into this mountain this and that but they don't tell you about the preparation before going to the mountain we don't just wake up and go to the mountain this is pinding you see how small the the mountain is this is the mountain yeah, uh, at Pinding, I'm going to share some of the pictures where you will see on top of that mountain. This is the road that, you know, people travel with cars. You know, they take their cars. And one thing about this mountain is that most of the time during the day, you won't see people. Even if you go there during the day, there's no one. But you will see things that shows you that people were there, you know. This is on top of the mountain. And it's a good, good mountain, man. It is not even dangerous. There is no caves, nothing. You just go there and pray. I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.